Most all local businesses need software, whether they know it or not. And today we're gonna be looking at lawn care businesses. They are very small operations and usually run by the owner. So it's very easy to get in touch directly with the decision maker. So you don't have to jump through hoops and gatekeepers. And from my research today, this specific niche has horrible looking websites. So we're gonna dig right into North Carolina here in the Charlotte area. Now we're just gonna zoom in on Charlotte and Google Maps and type in lawn care. Now there's a few tips I can give you guys as you scroll down here on the left side in the Google My Business pages, you're gonna see that a lot of them have websites, but there are a few that don't have websites, but have a ton of reviews. If we click this one right here, ASAP Quick and Fresh Lawn Care, they have 82 reviews. They've got photos, looks like they have, they've got a 4.9 star rating out of 82 reviews. So that's phenomenal. Now, my question is, why don't they have a website? And this is a company that you can just go ahead and call and tell them that you made a website for them and then go ahead and get them on a demo call and demo them a pre-built template. Now, as we scroll down here, you're gonna see another one here, Dawn's Lawn Care, 31 five-star reviews, no website. We scroll down, Last Minute Lawn Care, they have no website. Evergreen Lawn Care, no website. Bravo Lawn Care, no website. Hall's Lawn Care, no website. So as you're seeing here, there's a trend. When you have a same day service like this, you have before and after pictures, which are amazing for getting repeat customers. Now, if we actually click into a few of these companies that have websites, you're gonna see a lot of bad looking websites. So here's the first one I found right here, ZNL Lawn Care Inc. And right off the bat, we have some funky things going on with the columns. Uh, very, this is a lot of wasted space right here. And when we scroll down, we see that his logo takes up a majority of the screen here. Even worse, he just has a huge wall of text. And another good thing you can do is press F12 to see if it's mobile optimized. And it does look like it's mobile optimized and it looks a lot better on mobile as we scroll through this. But for PC, it looks horrible. Now, if we're in the mobile view, we can see this is done properly. You have one column, you have some pictures and then you have get more info underneath which is your call to action now i would have a more compelling call to action such as get a free estimate or 50 dollars off your first service you know get something in there that's captivating now when we click more info let's see where it takes us okay so right off the bat this button does not work let's go to the next button that one doesn't work either that one doesn't work okay so none of his call to action buttons actually work so you can't even get in contact with him let's see if there's a contact page okay he does have a contact page and he actually did this right so as you can see he's only asking for two specific things for the form fill he's asking for your name and your email address and then you can type a message about your lawn care needs etc now he also has the contact information right down here so you can call them right away this is perfect what i see is a lot of companies go ahead and try to ask every single question they can on a form fill. And I've counted some up to 17 to 18 different boxes you have to fill out. The goal here is to be as lean as possible. All you need is a name and an email address. All right, so the next one I found is Gomez Lawnscaping and Lawn LLC. So this one is a Google business page that they just created. Um, it does have a few five-star reviews down here and it looks like Google just kind of built this for them. They have some AI that does this. Uh, it looks really bad though. Just overall, I don't even know why this for sale sign is out front here. Um, and the sod looks all chopped up, which is not good. And it's not even green. So obviously right off the bat, there's a few things wrong. Um, I would go ahead and reach out to this guy as well and offer to make him a custom website. The great thing about the landscaping niche is a lot of these guys take before and after pictures. If they have people running their crew, they take the before and after pictures just to show that the quality was met for each one of these jobs done. So that gives you a lot of photos that you can use when you're creating these websites, which is excellent because I've had a few clients where they don't give enough photos, so we have to kind of find other photos to use. But with lawn care, you don't have that problem. Now, this is another one I found called Fine Turf, and this one is actually pretty decent. Now, right off the bat in the hero section, they have a get a quote and they have a call. As you hover over these buttons, they actually move. So that's a great feature to have because that's gonna help the person know that that's a button they're clicking and it's gonna be a little more interactive. Now in the bottom right, you can see it says telephone number and it has their telephone number. That means if I'm on mobile, for example, it's gonna go ahead and call them automatically. So let's go ahead and press F12 and see how it looks on mobile. So it doesn't look like the columns are messed up at all. This looks very nice. 
and see how in this first page here, uh, we call this the hero section, you have the get a quote and call. So there's a call to action right here in the first page that someone sees on mobile. This is what every single website should look like because you need to be able to have somebody get more information or go ahead and make the purchase and call right away. Now, if we scroll down, they have a little arrow here. I wonder what that does, brings us over. We've got a wall of text here. Uh, I see he sprinkled his phone number in here again. That's fine. I would actually have a button though. And every section should have a button. So as we see here, he did the first page right. Now, if we go to the second page here, you should have another call to action at the bottom here. So at any time the person reading this information says, okay, they're a fit for me. I'd like to move to the next step. They don't have to move very far to go ahead and get in contact with you. Now, here they have a few different services of what they do with pictures. I would probably improve these pictures a bit. They're pretty bland. Uh, the aeration one's pretty good. So as someone's scrolling through this, they're gonna go ahead and say, okay, I have this problem, I have this problem. Oh, they do this too. Okay, perfect. Um, like I mentioned before, just a lack of call to actions while I'm scrolling through this is just a very bad practice to have. He does have his phone number here, but it's not even bold and it's just hyperlinked. So you can go ahead and click that and go to, you know, if you're on mobile, you can't click that and call him. But like I said, you wanna have a button. Now, the reason I showed you this website, because this person obviously doesn't need a website from us. So I'm just trying to show you when it's done properly, it looks really good. So as I mentioned before, they have all their different services here. And when you hover over them, they move, they're interactive. Down here, this is a little lengthy. First name, last name, email, phone, address, city, state, zip. I mean, obviously they're in a specific area, so you don't need all of this stuff and you can grab this at a later time. The least amount of resistance on a form fill and get a quote estimate, for example, is gonna give you a higher conversion rate and you just wanna have first name, last name, phone number, email. You really only need those three. This is a great picture. I like the design here, how he did this, where he has it inside of this oval. They do have multiple areas, which is great as well. Now, when you land a client and you wanna actually build the website, I'm gonna bring you guys over to Go High Level and this is my own branded Go High Level account. If you go from templates inside of new funnel on sites on the left side and just hit continue, there's gonna be a bunch of pre-built templates that you can use to start. Now, if we go ahead and type in lawn at the top, we're gonna get four different websites here. Now, this, this one right here is the one we're gonna use. You can go ahead and hit the preview icon and see what that looks like, and I'll show you guys right here. Now, you can change all these pictures and everything to fit your client specifically, but I'm just gonna show you that the bare bones of this is set up very nicely. Now, they do use Laura Ipsum text, so make sure that you change the text inside here. Um, as we scroll down, you can make an appointment. Uh, we're gonna change the color of these buttons and kind of round them out a little bit and make them interactive like I was showing you on the past site. But all you have to do is hit continue at the top and it's gonna go ahead and add this into your funnels. Now, what's gonna happen next is it's gonna bring up the page builder. Now, the page builder is where all the magic happens. It's one of the most simple page builders that I've ever used. And I already trained my virtual assistants on how to use this and have them do my website builds for me. Once you do about one or three websites, you're really gonna get good at it. And that's gonna help speed the process up. But for the first few, you wanna do them yourself. So like I mentioned, inside of each section here, as you see, I'm hovering over different sections, you can go ahead and change everything. So in here, it says logo here. All you have to do is go ahead and click down here where it says image on the right side. And that's gonna go ahead and let you select their logo. And the cool thing is on their Google My Business page, you can go ahead and already pull that logo over and if they don't have the logo you can always just request that in a onboarding email when you do sign these clients now as we scroll down like i mentioned the make appointment i don't really like the color of it it just doesn't pop out to me for example and if we wanted to add some more space in here so let's move it down a little bit and if you want to change the text size you can go ahead and do that here it's a little too big there we go now Inside of animations on the right side for this button, you can go ahead and change what it does. So here's here's what rocking does. It's just gonna wiggle back and forth. You can have glow and the bounce as well. We're gonna go with the bounce. Now there are some more things you can do here. For example, there's a border color. We have the border color as white right now and that's really good. I think it pops. But if you wanna increase anything else in here, I think it looks a little better with a white border at three pixels. 
Now, in general, you can go ahead and change the text size right here. There we go. All right, now that looks a lot better. We're gonna just keep scrolling down. Now, the cool thing that Go High Level has that not a lot of other page builders have is right here, inside of this box, you're actually able to use AI. So if you select the text in here and then hit AI and go generate with AI, and then tell it you want a customer satisfaction ad copy for lawn care. And we just go ahead and hit generate. It's gonna go ahead and populate this on the left side and give you three different examples. Transform your lawn, enrich your life, experience ultimate satisfaction with our premium lawn care service. Unleash lawn care perfection, where every blade counts and every customer smiles. That's a really good one. We're gonna go ahead and copy that. We just hit copy and then hit continue on the right. And now that's gonna populate that right there. Now we can do that across this whole entire website and go through here and just have AI write the ad copy for us. So that's gonna save a ton of time. Now for the about us, or if there's any other ad copy you wanna put in here, you can do the same thing. Now inside of these different elements, you can go ahead and make them buttons if you would like. You can turn them into a button so when clicked, it goes to a certain page, or you can just go ahead and change these. I don't like how small these this text is, so you can go ahead and bold it. I think it looks way better bolded like this. And if you wanted to change the pictures, you can go ahead and actually click inside this element and just go over to images on the right side. It's gonna be this icon right here. Unsplash has tons of pictures that you can use for free while you're building this website. So if we wanna put in lawn, and we're just gonna get a bunch of pictures of lawns. How about lawn care? Okay, so here's a guy doing some weed whacking. We're just gonna go import to media library. Perfect. Here's a bunch of lawn mowers that you can pull from as well. Here's one that I like to see a lot of my lawn care guys use. This type of mower is a really high quality mower. So we're gonna go ahead and import that as well. And we're just gonna go through here and select certain images that we think will help with this website. Now, once you got those in there, you can go ahead and change them like I just showed you. Go ahead and add this in by double clicking it. We'll do that over here. Perfect. Okay, so now you can see that looks a lot better with the lawn care and maintenance. And it really is that simple. Now you can go through here. There's a lot of sections that you don't need. So for example, we're just gonna delete this, uh, that section showing the employees. You don't really need that for this type of landing page. We're gonna delete this as well. For testimonials, I definitely would come in here and put in specific testimonials that you get to see uh, in the reviews from Google My Business. So you don't really have to go ahead and find these people and ask them for reviews. You can actually just go ahead and use the Google My Business page and go ahead and pull those straight into the website. Now to go ahead and preview this, you just go ahead and hit save. And then at the top right, you're gonna hit these, this little eye icon. And that's gonna let us preview it. So this is what we can demo to the actual client once we get there. Uh, obviously you wanna want put their logo at the top, but as you scroll down, you can kind of see how this all flows. This looks great right here. You can have some type of offer here if you want. List of services. I'd go ahead and pull this pricing plan out because you wanna have that on a per customer basis. And that's it. Now, if you wanna learn how to sell pre-built templates, just like I showed you in this video, go ahead and click my link down below and you can join my free community where I share tons of tips and have courses that walk you through every step of the way. I hope you got some value from this video. I'll see you in there.